let's begin with the lateral rotators. Uh, the very first thing we're going to take a look at before we do the lateral rotators, though, is this sciatic nerve. You can appreciate how the sciatic nerve is curling out from underneath the first lateral rotator muscle, which is the piriformis. Piriformis muscle uh, is, again, a lateral rotator, also involved in abduction. Um, just below that would be the superior gemellus muscle, followed by the obturator internus, followed by the inferior gemellus muscle. And then this is the quadratus femoris. Now, below the quadratus femoris is the obturator externus muscle. So we don't actually see that on this particular model. Uh, but nonetheless, if you remember gemulus, obturator gemulus, and the obturator deep, you would see the go-go muscles then, G-O-G-O. -G -O. So if we put them all together, piriformis, superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus, there we go, and um, obturator externus, deep to the quadratus femoris, we have performing go, go, queens. All right, so hopefully you can come up with something a little better than that, but at least you'll be able to remember it. Okay, so all those are lateral rotators. Um, let's take a look at some other muscles now. This particular set um, here would be the quadriceps muscles. This is rectus femoris. This is vastus lateralis and vastus medialis. Remember, quadriceps is four heads, and so I'm going to remove the rectus femoris, maybe, to see the last head. And this would be vastus intermedius. Vastus intermedius. Now, the vastus muscles all have their origin on the linea aspera of the femur. The rectus femoris muscle that I'm just now putting back in, rectus femoris has its origin at the anterior inferior iliac spine. Um, these muscles are involved in extending the leg at the knee, but then the rectus, um, the rectus femoris muscle is used for flexing the thigh at the hip. All of them have their point of insertion at the, at the tibial tuberosity, which is right here. All right, there's another kind of long muscle, not part of the quadriceps group, but this one here. This is a um, one that laterally rotates the leg and um, the thigh. Uh, it is going to be called the sartorius because it crosses the leg, and the term sartorius means tailor. The old tailors used to cross their legs when they sewed. If you make a figure four out of your leg, uh, out of your two legs, I should say, uh, you're using the sartorius muscle. All right, let's take a look at some abductors, ABD ductors. This is abductor longus. This is abductor magnus, another abductor magnus here. And then the muscle that crosses over the top of the adductor magnus muscle is the gracilis muscle. All these muscles are abductors. There's another little abductor here as well, and this is the pectineus muscle. Good. Um, these muscles in the back here tend to have their um, origin at the um, ischial tuberosity. This one is at the anterior region of the pubis. And this one is going to be also at the very most anterior region of the pubis right here. So this would be, say, the inferior ramus of the pubis. This would be the anterior region of the pubis. We spin around the back. We see the hamstrings. Uh, this one is the semitendinosus muscle. It rests on top of the semimembranosus muscle. So semitendinosus, semimembranosus. And then right next door is the biceps femoris muscle. Um, these muscles originate at the ischial tuberosity. Uh, they are going to extend below the knee on both the lateral and, and medial sides, depending on which, right? So this pair is going to be medial um, down here. 
uh, just below the, con the condyle of the tibia. And this one would go down below the condyle of the, of the um, fibula and I should say of the tibia on the lateral side and the head of the fibula. This is tensor fascia lati. So tensor fascia lati helps to extend the leg. It's also a medial rotator. Um, this particular one uh, has a very, very long, broad tendon, uh, which we sometimes refer to as the iliotibial tract or ilio iliotibial band. And the actual muscle is right here. 